Hello everybody, this is Mithril Zenith, and welcome back to another weapon discussion. Today we are talking about steel weapons. We've talked about bronze, we've talked about some other things. Today it's time to talk about steel. Before we get into it, sub to the channel, leave a like, and let me know what other weapons you'd like me to talk about in the comments down below. And now let's get into it. Steel weapons have always existed. Uh, technically, I believe steel lances... Uh, may not have existed in Fire Emblem 1, and Steel Axes I don't think did either, but Axes were weird. Yeah, Steel Lances only started existing in Gaiden, and then Steel Axes did exist in Fire Emblem 1, uh, but then later didn't exist in Gaiden because there were no axe-building characters. Steel weapons are an interesting mid-grade. They're not strictly better than iron. Um, generally, they're worse than silver, but yeah, you know, th there's some discussion to be had. I think steel weapons are actually quite interesting to discuss, so let's get into it. Steel swords, um, pretty simple. Steel axes have a little bit more of an interesting uh, talking point, and then steel lances, again, pretty simple. The base idea of steel weapons is that they do more damage but are heavier than iron weapons, require a higher weapon level to use, and are seen kind of as a mid-grade. Uh, they're not quite as strong as silver weapons, but they're still more durable, but they're less durable than iron. So while iron is the cheap, flexible, uh, lightweight, does... cheap, lightweight, uh, low damage, but high speed, uh, low weight, high speed, uh, version that with high durability and then silver is the expensive slightly heavier though not by much uh, compared to iron uh, expensive uh, limited to high weapon ranks uh, harder to get lower durability but higher damage version steel is the interesting mid-grade where you have higher damage than iron lower than steel uh, sorry lower than silver but higher weight. And that higher weight is actually quite impactful. So, for instance, a uh, steel sword in GBA Fire Emblem weighs uh, 10. It's 8 might, 10 weight. An iron sword is 5 weight. A steel lance, 10 might, 13 weight. Um, and Iron Lance is 7 might and 8 weight, I believe. Um, so we already have a trend. Okay, you know, one more weapon rank higher. It's D rank instead of E rank. Uh, 3 more might, 5 more weight. And then 30 uses instead of uh, 45 or 46 for an Iron Sword. What about the Steel Axe? What about the Steel Axe <laughs> makes it different? Um, same basic idea. You know, three more might, five more weight. But steel axes, for some reason, can be used at E rank instead of D rank. Meaning that early game axe fighters, even if they have E rank axes, can still use iron, steel, and don't forget hand axes or E rank as well. I don't know why they decided to make this change. Maybe to make axe fighters more interchangeable. Maybe to allow you to use more variety of weapons on them. Maybe because they thought having, like, the hammer and the poleaxe, or halberd, and, you know, uh, I feel like there's something else. At the very least, the hammer and the poleaxe at D rank uh, meant they didn't want to also limit steel and hand axes. I don't know. Either way, steel axes are actually a little more interesting, uh, because also, even though they have much higher weight, axe-wielding units tend to have much higher constitution, so then they'd be able to better carry the weight. And then the biggest difference is just their hit rate, which is pretty low. Um, as you can see, even steel swords, 75 hit rate compared to like a 95 from the iron sword. So you're get, you're seeing like around 20 lower hit rate, a hit rate of about 20 points lower for three more damage. And you're seeing five more weight what makes this useful? That's actually a really interesting thing. Steel swords and GBA only give one weapon EXP, but steel axes and steel lances give two. 
weapon XP is useful. Um, uh, basically, the number is how much weapon experience you gain per attack. Uh, double that for a kill. And so one attack with a steel lance for weapon experience is equivalent to two attacks with an iron lance. And so steel axes give the unit a steel axe, pretty good way of training their axe rank. I mean, it's no devil axe, which gives eight for some reason, but yeah, pretty solid, pretty fun weapon design. And even Fates kind of kept this idea. You know, C rank, Fates had bronze weapons, higher damage. Oh, you don't have weapon weight? Well, that's fine. Let's just take away some avoid and limit your follow-up attack ability. Effective speed. Okay, same with steel lances, same with steel swords. Um, you have Echoes, Shadows of Lentia giving some different uh, combat arts. Yeah, so what does steel mean? <laughs> steel is interesting because you have to think about when you use it. It's not a strict upgrade from iron in most situations. It's inaccurate, it's slower, it's more powerful, but that weight, that weight matters a lot, especially on things like a steel lance with 13 weight, especially on a unit like a Pegasus Knight with like four constitution. We talked about slim lances, why slim lances are pretty good, because they have four less weight than an iron lance. This has five more weight than an iron lance, and so you're effectively slowing your Pegasus Knight down by nine speed just by equipping a steel lance. There are times when you want the steel lance, there are times when you do, uh, if you just need that extra damage and the enemy has higher defense and you can't quite do the damage even if you double, and so one good hit is all you need. But you're gonna cost, you're gonna pay for that. That extra might comes at a cost that you have to be prepared to pay, at least in the mid game, early to mid game. I think steel lances are, I think the idea of steel being heavier and slower and less accurate is a pivotal part of the balance of Fire Emblem weapons. It's very interesting, it's very unique, it's not you know, it's not like, hey, just, you know, just do three more damage with this weapon. I think that it became that a little bit with, like, New Mystery of the Emblem because they took out weapon weight. A little bit with Awakening when they took out weapon weight. I think that if you only modulate the might and the hit rate down from, like, might up and hit rate down from iron and then the, the durability, it's not enough of a difference to make the weapon an interesting choice it just kind of becomes can you afford to put steel on everyone have they earned the ability to use steel weapons by hitting c rank and so i think awakening um kind of struggles with that where steel just kind of becomes default better in most circumstances whereas before new mystery of the emblem and shadow dragon and the path of radiance and you know GBA and GameCube and whatnot, Fire Emblems, with weapon weight. Weapon weight is so pivotal to the balance of steel weapons, because steel so easily can become just a default better iron in most situations. Because what happens in Awakening is you use steel as your new default as soon as you hit C rank, and then you're like, oh, well, I'll keep an iron weapon around in case I need a higher hit chance. And so it becomes the reverse. Instead of, oh, I'll keep a steel weapon around in case I just need to do more damage um, at the cost of everything else, you keep an iron weapon around in case you need a better hit rate, but then you kind of default back to steel. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Do you like steel weapons? Do you think they're pointless? Do you think it's interesting how steel axes are E-rank? Leave your comments down below, and until next time, this is Mythical Zenith, signing out.